Hello everyone, it's Dan here from Thomas River Support. In this video I'm going to show you the process of building your own pages with WP Bakery. Uh, just how you can create your own page within Belton for WordPress. Okay, so at the moment we're just looking at a demo page, which as you can see looks very nice. What we're going to do is create our own page from scratch. Just give you an idea of how it all works and things to expect when working with the theme. Okay, so I'm just going to call this video demo. Um, we're going to load up WordPress Bakery page builder and we'll start with a very common thing uh, we'll start by adding the intro block which is the nice image with text above it so let's drop that in we'll pop our own background image on for that this one of the trees looks quite nice I'm just putting a bit of text. As you can see with this block, we've got a few different options for where we can place the content. Uh, for the sake of this one, I'll have it over to the left and in the middle of the A of the block and I'll have it set to be full height as well and yep that will do if we've got everything correct there I'm gonna go ahead and publish and we'll take a look at the page and see what that looks like now what you'll notice is it's off to the right here now I've intentionally left this do that because it's something that you may expect, uh, sorry you may not be expecting but it's something that you can easily tweak to uh, to make it full width and the way you do this if we head back into the settings within the row settings where we've placed our intro block we're going to go to row stretch and set this to stretch row and content and once done Oops, I refreshed a bit too soon. There you go. You'll see once done, it takes up the full width as expected. So just something to be aware of when you are building the page for the first time. Okay, let's move on and add some sections below. Now the way we've made this theme work is um, all of the other sections you'll see. So if I just open up the home page, all of the text sections here below, they're actually added as a section block. So to begin with, we'll drop in a section here, and just for now I'm going to pop in a random bit of text and just show you what to expect. So to begin with, let's update the page and see what that section looks like. And again, we have purposefully done this so you can see um, what to expect, but you'll notice that section doesn't quite stretch out to the full width of the page. So what we need to do is in the section settings, we're going to head to section stretch and stretch that there you go, to stretch section. Perfect. So see there, we've now got a full width section exactly like we want. And just to show you how to do the white background areas, let's clone that section. And within the section settings, we're going to scroll down to the extra class name and we're simply going to type in white. So if we update, and there you go, you can see there we've got our two sections, very straightforward. And just to really hammer this home, if you wanted to say have your own custom color, then what you can do is in the section settings you can go to the design option and actually choose your own background as well uh, I don't think I'll go quite so bright, I might look a bit weird let's do a nice grey one again refresh too soon there you go, so you can see we've got our grey background there as well ideal Okay, so let's move on. Let's start adding some content to these sections. 
So to begin with, I'm going to drop in a portfolio feed in our black section here. So we can simply open up the extra areas, grab the portfolio feed. I'll choose the three column layout here. We'll have the filters as well. And in the section below that, I'll split this up into a couple of columns. And one common thing you may want to do is have some text on the left and say an image on the right. So I'll just pop in some random blurb. We'll make this one a heading. And we'll make this one larger text. And below this, we'll just have some regular text. And then the right hand side, I'm going to grab a single image. Perfect. Let's update. As you can see, we've got our portfolio section here. And then below this, we've got our text and image. Although this is a bit of a brief overview, you can see how it all works and a few of the things to expect and how to get around them. Obviously, if you do have any more questions on how to use this, then do come see me over at support. Thanks for watching.